A local college student says each and every day she deals with the challenge of people parking in handicapped spots when not permitted or blocking ramps. An incident that happened this weekend is serving as a catalyst for her to share her story with our Cornelius Hawker about accessibility and why it's important. Butler University junior Becca Matson gets her on campus using her power chair. <laughs> Ramps are essential for her to get in and out of buildings. So it's unsafe um, to try and use steps in my situation. Over the weekend, she faced an unsafe dilemma that left her with no options to get where she needed to be. I was leaving um, and upon exiting, uh, there was a Butler University operations vehicle parked in front of the ramp. She snapped this picture of that Butler University truck blocking the ramp outside of Atherton Union and then waited patiently for whoever was driving it to come out so she could ask them to move it. They did move the truck. I came down the ramp and then promptly after me coming down the ramp, they proceeded to back the truck back out in front of the ramp. I turn around and I ask them, hey, like, you can't really park there. This is where disabled students access Atherton Union. And they told me that they were only going to be here for a few minutes. Um, I said, well, it doesn't really matter how long you're going to be here. You can't park there, essentially. And then the employee turned around and told me he did not care. Becca shared her story on Instagram, where it's added to a bigger conversation about the importance of accessibility. Specifically with the parking, um, it's a chronic issue, not just here on campus, but throughout the community. It is definitely a challenge that a lot of us face. Um, that's one of the major ones. Miss Wheelchair USA, Sarah Gaver, says Becca's story isn't surprising. A lot of the times I've seen people think it's real easy access to the front door so they don't have to walk so far or whatever the case may be. But really, when you're blocking that ramp, you're actually taking our right away from accessing the building completely. Sarah wants people to start paying more attention so they don't put a person with a disability in a tough spot. It's really important to watch for the signs. You know, between ramps, there's always a wheelchair sign typically by the ramp or an access sign sign or things like that, that it's very well posted. Um, and then for parking spots, it's the same thing. The stripes are pretty bold. Um, and then the side of my car even says leave space for my ramp. Disabled people matter. Um, we're contributing members of society. Um, I would say it's the only minority group you can become a part of at any point during your life. So I always encourage people to think about it from the perspective of what would happen if you needed to use that ramp. Suddenly it would matter. In a statement, Butler University says they pride themselves on being an inclusive campus and that this incident fell short of that and won't be tolerated. They've apologized to Becca and thank her for bringing it to light so it can be used as a teachable moment. And because of this, more students are coming forward with pictures showing this isn't an isolated incident. Those students are asking Butler University, demanding Butler University, tell their employees to stop parking in handicapped spots. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV.